Forget pit stops, forget fuel management. It's pedal to the metal all the way here as we get ready for today's sprint. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting sprint. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. And the smooth operator Carlos Sainz completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Perez, George Russell and Ocon, Hamilton, Norris, Fernando Alonso and Daniel Ricciardo, Joe, Sonoda, Valtteri Bottas and Vettel, Mick Schumacher, Gasly, Lance Stroll and Kevin Magnussen, Latifi and Alex Albon picks up the last spot on the grid. Which of these drivers will get pole position today? We'll soon find out. What's going on, this is CJ David, and welcome back to the F1 2022 Championship season. Picking up where we left off, we completed our um, race in Australia for the Australian Grand Prix, and finally got a good um, finish that I wanted um, for my home track. Finally, did um, better than what I was hoping for. Uh, ended up six uh, um, in the race. Good, decent points um, to get back to where I was, and now we have moved on from Australia to Austria. Third race of the season in alphabetical order. Definitely one of my strong race tracks, I will say. Surprisingly, I ended up P7 for, for this race. Um, we're doing a sprint race. Uh, we're doing a sprint race weekend, guys. I forgot that this game applies sprint races as well. And apparently, I'm gonna do a sprint race first to um, start off um, the full race in order of where we finish in the sprint race. But in qualifying, just to remind you guys, I ended up P7 with, I thought was pretty decent until I noticed drivers were starting, um, starting to become quicker than me. I would have done a, uh, would have done a fast time later on in Q3, but rain started to came in um, very late, so I had to go in as early as I can and try to get as quick as I can. I did I did go quicker than my previous lap on, on Q3, but it wasn't, enough for me to get anywhere higher. So I ended up P7. Max Verstappen leads away with Carlos Sainz on the front row next to him. Who knows what will happen in this race? There could be um, a um, jockey for position. Who knows what results we'll get in this sprint race. And then once we have that sorted, we'll move on to the full race. So pit strategy doesn't really matter because we're going um, one race whole way through. I put my car set to preset five fastest um, balance uh, fastest pace on the car but less ba um, less control I thought I'd try, try that because there are a bunch of long straights on this track and I thought that could possibly work for me who knows it could work we'll see um, changing my fuel loads I think we're ready to go for our first sprint race in this season who knows uh, what I'll do there but we're gonna find out right now so let's start this race I'm gonna wrap up the engines Five lights are up here in Australia for the Austrian Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go. I get a much better jump than um, Ocon or and my teammate Russell. I'm gonna try say close together. Oh jeez, everybody was um, jockeying a bit. Norris is trying to make a move on me. I'm not gonna let let that go. I'm gonna try dive on Ocon. Oh, I don't want to dive on Russell though. There we go. Re really good, really good move. Up to six. Getting behind my teammate Russell and try to catch up to the pack in front of me if I can. Science has dropped back to four. He didn't get a good start. Oh, he's really slow, actually. He's holding on my teammate Russell. Could be, could be helpful for me. Oh, jeez, it's incident already happening. Paris, 
What is happening? Oh no! Jeez, what was going on in the front there? Jeez, those guys were going all over the place. Oh, I had to go wide there because I think it was Norris that was trying to make a move on me. I've got front wing damage, but I don't think I need to pit because this is a sprint race and there's only like a few laps, so I'm just going to try to stay, stay close and try to stay, stay in the position I am in. Leclerc is out of, out of the race. I no, noticed. What was what was that going on? I, um, pit strategy I don't need. I think I'm good. Okay, some information on Norris. Apparently so. And Ricardo's right behind me in fifth. I don't know what exactly happened at the front there. Both um, both Red Bulls and Ferrari were jockeying for positions and then all of a sudden they went slow. I don't know what was going on with that. There's no way I'm going to pay because, because this is only 12 laps. I just got to stay ahead as much as I can to get a good position for the um, full race coming up. The fact that the fact that Perez and Sainz pitted um, for those damages, they're at the back of the pack. Might not be able to make any positions. Um, might not get any positions back for the end of the sprint race. So this could bas basically be a change of positions. Like I men mentioned, it could be a jockey for positions everywhere. And I was surprised that it actually ha happened right in front of me. Jeez, I didn't think the sprint race was going to get this chaotic. The game really proved to me that anything could happen. And I have a bit of front wing damage, so I'm just going to have to try and take it easy around these corners. Especially these ones here. Maybe slow, but it will be necessary for me to try and stay where, I am, where I'm at. Because it's better to be in this position than um, pit early to try and... Um, try and get front wing back and try to catch up to the pack. It's not happening. Oh geez, I didn't realize Alonso got ahead of Ricardo. And I noticed that because of Norris's um, problem he has in his, on his car, he's holding up the pack behind him. This could potentially help me um, um, get away from, from the pack and gain some space, gain some gap um, for myself and see if I can try to like um, say where, where I'm at for the remainder of these laps. Jeez. But that can definitely, um, leads away from this back as my teammate George Russell takes second. Alcon takes third as he, sum, um, as he managed to get around me. Because I got, um, I got in the back, back of Leclerc. Didn't realize he was going that slow. He, I didn't realize he was retiring. That was the thing. I didn't expect that to happen. Anyways, I got a focus right now and try to stay where I'm at as best I can for the spots, um, for a good spot in the full race. Well, Alonso is going to make a move on me. I'm going to try to block the inside, make him go around the outside. It's all right. As you guys know from my def def um, my defense abilities in the past, I'm really good at it against these drivers, so this could potentially help me. I can, f oh jeez, I can feel the car like eas easily scraping the floor there. I don't know what's going on with that on this track, but it threw me off and went wide there. Oh geez, a little bit slow there, but that's that's okay. Although Ricardo's catching up to me now, I'm gonna try and make a move somewhere. Looks like someone got around Norris, so they're gonna try and catch up to the pack pack that I made. Oh boy. A bit wide there. Okay, I'm gonna try and make a move, Ricardo. Make him go around the outside. Oh, you... oh, jeez. 
I cut in the corner a bit, and Ricardo somehow got sideways. Oh, please give me room. Man, this is good battle right now, despite me having damage. Oh, and I've got body damage from going over the curves a bit. That's not good. At least I'm staying ahead. This is tough. Lonzo and Ricardo are side by side to each other. They're battling right there as they're battling with me. This is really good, not gonna lie. But I'm definitely losing pace. And those guys behind me are gonna catch up. Oh, jeez. I think I held up Alonzo a bit. He tried trying to get around me. Gotta make the corner. A little bit wide, but that's okay. I got no pressure behind me. As we are halfway through this sprint race, it's definitely already chaotic um, for me in this race. As I went a little bit wide there, that's gonna allow, that's gonna invite Alonzo to try and pass me. But will he have enough enough pace to try and pass me? It's gonna be close. I'm hitting the brakes pretty hard. I thought it was gonna like, oh, um, oh. I'll, I'll um, go over the corners a bit, like, outbreak myself, but apparently I um, did enough break breaking to get to make it. So I'm a bit surprised at that. Because I have a bit of front wing damage and some body damage, I thought I was going to have less pace on trying to hit the brake. Oh, actually, actually, I do have less pace, so it makes it hate easier for me to break, although the turn is very difficult for me. Okay, five laps to go here. Ricardo's gonna make a move on me if he can. He's going for it. As I did it again. You got it. Ricardo's made a move on me, but I'm gonna try and catch back to him. Although Alonso is making a move right here. I'm gonna dive on both. Oh, jeez, that was too too much of a dive on for me. But apparently, I. Um, stay ahead, although Ricardo's gonna try to pass me again. Oh, I'm just about to hold on. Oh, he goes around the outside for some reason. Although I did leave a gap on the outside, but I'm surprised he went outside then trying to stay on the inside of me. Don't know why, but I guess that's the result that he chooses. <laughs> Bowser Bonus has joined the pack. He's gonna try and make some moves here to try and get past us, maybe. Oh, Jesus. I'm taking more body damage. That curve, that curve is, um, that curve is dangerous. I shouldn't really go over there. So otherwise I'll lo lose more, um, I'll lose more performance. Therefore I'll slow down more. But those guys are battling hard behind me. I wonder if they, I wonder if they, um, one of the taking on, um, taking damage by hitting their, um, themselves. Maybe. That just shows how chaotic, um, the scrim race is right now. For a first time, too. I didn't expect it to be this chaotic. The thing is, for scrim race, it's like a, it's like a full race, but, sh um, but with a short amount of laps. And it's like, um, set... Um, the results are set um, as the grid for for the for the full race. That's how a sprint race works. So I'm make, making my way around the corner. Three laps to go. Alonso is now behind me. He's going to try and make a move on me if he can. And I got to be careful through this first corner here. I think that corner has been my problem um, with me for this track. If I can just get that perfect, even if with some damage, I should be fine. Oh, but I'm overcooking the second corner though. It's slowing me down a bit. 
Oh, looks like Daniel Ricardo's out, out of the pack. Oh, he, oh, he's pitted. That sucks. Could have stayed with us and tried to um, stay in the position he's in to get get some good um, positions for the grid. Oh, jeez, I'm overcooking it. Alonso's trying to make a move on me. As I'm somehow staying ahead. How am I doing this good, honestly? With the damage I have, I'm surprised that I'm staying ahead of these guys. For fourth place, that's not bad. Not gonna lie. Oh, by the way, in sprint races, you can get points for this. Oh, Carlos Sainz is out of the race. So that means he's gonna get a um, bad, bad spot for... Oh, boy! I pu pushed Alonso a bit, um, put him out, out of place, so he's basically lost ground. And he's lost pace to me, too, because I did that. That was... Oh, my gosh. I don't know how well I'm doing this, but... Oh, it looks like trouble is behind me. And Valtteri Bottas is... Looks like he's retiring. What is going on with this sprint race? Every, everything is just... Everything is just chaotic. I cannot believe the drama going around, around in this sprint race. Wish that would wish that was like this in a full race. We're coming up to Carlos Sainz's retirement. There he is, right there. Oh my God, guys, this is insane. As we're about to come up. So the final lap of this spring race here in Austria for the Austrian Grand Prix. Alonso is desperately trying to make the move on me for fourth. I'm holding it back as much as I can to keep this spot for uh, for a good grid spot coming coming up uh, in the coming up upcoming race. That's what I'm trying to say. And it looks like Norris is back just after his problems that he's got. He's caught back up to us. Man, this is looking really good. This is really, really good racing here. There, there's Valtteri Bottas. Oh shoot! Alonso is making a move on me on the inside. Will he keep keep it? Yes, he will. He makes the pass easily. But you know what? I don't mind if he passes me because I feel like I'm in a good spot for the grid. Well, now saying that, I should have kept that four spot if I paid attention to where Alonso was going. And now Norris is going to try and make a move on me. Here we go, a couple corners left. Oh, I've gone a little bit wide there. Oh, Norris looked for the inside, but not enough. And I'm not going to catch it to Alonso in time. Looks like fifth is good enough for me. You got it. Jeez, man, that was already entertaining in that sprint race, I will say. Kevin Magnussen gets driver of the day again. But yeah, there you have it, guys. Well, that wraps up the sprint. All that remains. Yeah, that definitely wraps up the sprint. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us there. So there you have it. Verstappen wins the sprint. George Russell, my teammate, takes second. Esteban Ocon, third. Fernando Alonso takes fourth. I take fifth. Lando Norris takes sixth. Kevin Magnussen takes seventh. And Joe Guan Yu rounds up um, the final spot of the sprint race point standing. So it's only top eight this time, not top ten. So this will make things interesting for how, how this um, full race is going to go. So results, sprints. Um, I actually don't need to look at that. So we'll see you guys in the full race. Okay, guys, we are now about to start the full race here in Austria for the Austrian Grand Prix. So let's quickly look at the race strategy. I know it uh, looks like the session forecast is going to be rapid, um, as you can see with the clouds, sun, and rain. So possibly multiple, um, multiple pitch strategies will come into play in this race. I don't know how well this is go going to go, but I ho hopefully I um, get lucky with the pitch strategy and um, where I might end up for for this race. Um, um, as you can tell from the grid that we uh, that you saw, um, Verstappen and George Russell will lead us 
um, away on the front row. Alpines um, take the second row. I noticed the, uh, with both Ferraris are at the are at the back of the grid, so they're gonna have to do a lot of work for this race if they're gonna have any chance um, of scoring good decent points for Ferrari. Because if not, Red Bull could possibly pull away and end up doing exactly what they did in 2023 last year. But let's just see exactly what happens in this race and hopefully us Mercedes can perform well as well. So without further ado, let's jump right in. I'm gonna wrap up the engines. This is already a chaotic grid. Five lights are up. It's lights out and away we go for the Austrian Grand Prix. Oh jeez, can't get to the inside that time. I'm gonna try and go around the outside maybe. Norris merely made a move on me on the inside, but I'm gonna try and get back him and get back at him if I can. Uh, no, I gotta I gotta I gotta um, back away. Uh, definitely can't do anything about it. He had he had the corner. Oh, and he's going to try to block the inside again. Oh, jeez. And that's... Oh, jeez. He already uh, made some contact with Alonso there. And Joe Wan Yu is making a move on me. And there's the rain. Already pouring. As as we just started, too. That's going to that's gonna create chaos um, on this track. I guarantee you it's going to be chaotic already. Because I need to stay focused and try to stay calm. Because it's a possible chance that in, um, that chaos might ensue early, for early early laps. Jeez, that was a terrible corner. I think I might have damaged my um, body after uh, my floor after going over that rail. I'm gonna try and make a move on. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, thank God Alonso um, backed off because I went, I went, I dived so deep in there that I thought I was gonna um, flip my front wing on um, Alonso because the rain was pouring in and was making it slippery, make, making it very difficult to break. And I thought I was gonna, ha gonna have some trouble um, since the rain's pouring in and could have damaged my front wing. Uh, please, please, intermediates. Okay, copy that. Because the rain's pouring in and it's already getting wet. God, I don't know how I got away with with no damage from from that late breaking for me. Okay, George is coming in for his stop. Yeah, and so am I. Oh, jeez, I did that too early, but it doesn't doesn't matter. I have to pit now. It's too wet to go another lap. Okay, that stop was a slower time than we ideally wanted to see. It's okay. Doesn't ma matter. Got to get in straight away because rain's coming in. All right, we'll be doing one more stop today. One stop left in this strategy. Just gotta be careful. Gotta be careful here. Paris is right behind me. I can't let him pass. I'll have to figure out my new, new breaking points since it's wet. I haven't had this happen during practice nor qualifying, so this is going to be difficult for me to figure out the breaking points now. Oh, jeez, there's a crash in front of me. Schumacher has gone to the back of, I think, one of the Williams, and he's out of the race. Safety car is out. This is going to bunch up the pack a bit. Oh, now i got to slow down a bit. Oh, that's going to allow whoever was in the pits early. I've got information on Albon for you. Okay, they're out of this race. Yep, yeah, th thanks for that. Hold on, slow down, try to figure out what's going on. Jeez, chills like in the sprint race, it's already chaotic. I told you guys er early stages of this race is going to be chaotic. It's just insane, i got to slow down my pace. Pierre Gasly has been disqualified? Well, that's a first. My god, I don't know what he did wrong to end up being disqualified. And I just realized there's only 12, 
12 tri tries left um, in this race. What is happening? My goodness! About eight drivers is out of this race, and I gotta slow down. Jesus, I hate the Delta pace sometimes. Sorry, we'll get to the safety car quickly soon. I'm slowing my pace. Holy jeez, I... I don't know what to say, guys. Everything just happens so fast. The only thing I um, witnessed was Mick Schumacher running to the back of, I think, one of the Williams it was. And he, he was out, out of the race after that because I like, noticed his wheels came off. Oh, jeez. And then, a tr and then a lot of drivers ended up being retired or disqualified. I don't know if Gasly was the only one who was disqualified, but definitely a lot of drivers are out. Eight of them, to be exact, because there's only 12 drivers left in this race. So, Whew. I think we'll just like calm down, let the safety car um, stroll around for a couple laps, and then. Um, prepare ourselves to get back back into racing mode. All right, we're ba about to get to green flags uh, in a mo moment here, guys. The safety car comes in. I'll tell you what, with rain poured in early on, it definitely made a um, uh, made the chaos uh, in the first few laps of this race. See, we'll see what happens as we're ba about to resume. Can't overtake just yet as we're coming around the final corner. And we are back racing again here in Austria. Don't know if I'll be able to make a move on Alonso. With only 12, um, 12 drivers left in this race. After chaotic calamity um, early on. See how, well, how much um, I can do to um, gain, um, gain some positions and maybe try to get, try to, um, get around these guys. And I do a terrible job. It's going to allow... Jeez. Oh, Magnuson gets around me and Paris as well. I had a slow jump there. I don't know what the crew chief was telling me about, but it might be good, it might be bad. I don't know. Jeez. I'm not that quick on um, wet tires because I don't know my braking points. But hopefully I can... Try to make up to it as it as the rains um as it stops raining the track will begin to dry up soon and maybe a possible chance we might get back to dry tires you never know so only still early on as we've only completed eight laps here in austria out of 36 there's still plenty of racing to do see how well i do Well, Alonso is making a move on Joe Guan Yu as I'm trying to catch up to Magnus in here. Oh, I just noticed the science has got around Perez, so he he's going to try and make a move on me if he can. Joe Guan Yu is still not done with Alonso yet. Like I said, it's difficult for me to try and um, catch up and pass them in these conditions. Well, I'm getting a good run on Magnuson here, but I don't want to make a move here because this corner is too dangerous um, to try and pass. Oh, jeez, especially since how much pace I was getting that from that um, from that line into the corner. Okay, I think this might be a good opportunity here. Here we go. I'm gonna try to get, get in to make a mistake. I'll go around the outside. Oh, tight. But I managed to do it, but it's going to allow Magnuson to um, try and pass me again on this straight here, maybe. Okay. 
I've got P7, see you catch up to Joe Guan Yu and see how well I can catch up to the rest of the pack. new strategy. Yeah, I go straight for hard tires. Me merely get the dry tires. Okay. There we go. Good stuff here. Oh, I got held up there. That's not good. Got held up by Latif. He was coming in um, for... Dry tires. That's okay. Come on, hot tires. While the guy's behind me! Done it! I'm still wet and I missed my braking point. And I think I just damaged Paris tires, um, Paris's um, front wing as well. Dang it! Oh, jeez, and I just ran into the back of science. My mistake. I'm gonna have to box this lap. I need soft tires. I think I think the hard tires is a bad idea. I don't know what what I was thinking. I was paying too much attention to the drivers, um, while not paying attention to the exit. I that I'm holding off with TV, but I won't do because I'm going to be hitting anyways. Yellow flag. Oh, yellow flags. Oh, safety car. Oh, perfect. That'll help me catch back up. I don't know what ha happened there. Oh, Carlos Sainz is out of the race. What happened? Oh, I think Pe I think Perez must have slowed down um, a lot to try and get, get into the pits. That Sainz ran into the back of him. That's probably what happened. That was a fantastic stop. Faster than we were expecting. I'm guessing that's what happened. Oh, that sucks for Sainz and for Ferrari too. So that leaves only 11 drivers in this race now. Okay, two stops left now. Two stops. Okay, make the corner this time. There we go. Now I just gotta catch up the safety car. It's right there, but I gotta. Now I gotta go go um, a whole lap around around to okay, so catch up to it. Negative, which means you're going too fast. Yeah, I got it. To be honest, I think I cause. Um, whoa! Oh, now I got a now I got a voltage on my rear wing. I think it's stuck close, which that's probably good anyways because I don't need DRS at the moment, so I don't need to worry about that right now. That's okay. We're under um, safety car conditions, anyways, so there's no, re there's really no need for a rear, rear wing um, open opening. Anyways, back to what I was saying. I feel like I um, caused the retirement for signs after I um, after I clicked, clicked the exit walls and Perez ran to the back of me, and so as he was com coming in, he slowed down, which is what. Um, AI drivers normally do in that corner here on this track. He would slow, um, they would slow down um, to make make the corner lines and stuff. And because of that, the drivers behind, behind them could easily run into the back back of them and um, possibly end up retiring or end up crashing and retire for terminal damage. So that's a bit of well, and I feel like it was my fault um, for science's retirement, but. It is what it is. Sometimes these incidents can happen in these F1 races. Now I just gotta catch up to the pack and um, try, try to uh, make some positions in these dry conditions now. Okay, let's get ready to go. 
go racing again. The safety car is in this lap. Okay, safety car in this lap. So there's only 11 drivers here, so pretty much almost all of the drivers here that are still, still racing could, um, could gain some points here. As I'm at the back of the grid, Paris is right in front of me. He's on hard tires, I'm on soft, so I'll be able to get past him easily if I can. My rear wing's still not fixed yet, so I might not be able to get DRS once it's reactivated. Okay, can't pass yet. Okay, now crossing the finish line we can. Okay, the incident's been cleared. Let's get back up to racing speed. Come on. Okay. Oh, jeez, that corner is dangerous. All right, back on the way as Verstappen leads us once again with Ocon in second, I believe. Perez is going to make a move on Latifi here. All right, I slow down. Oh, I don't know why I'm making it three wide. How much damage did I take? None, okay. That's good. Okay, no move there. Thought I had enough pace. Paris is trying to go around the outside of Lutifi. On those hearts. Oh, I'm trying to follow him. I can't really get there. No, I'm going to have... I have to take my time here. Oh, Latifi is a bit slow there. I'm gonna make a move. Oh, a bit, bit off the track, but that's okay. The FIA will allow it. Now I'm still behind Paris. Battling still going on ahead of me. Four cars battling each other, side by side. Oh, jeez! I was looking ahead and one of them was going sideways. I thought there was going to be an incident that's going to, going to be a calamity in front of me. I gotta make a move right here. Oh, double maybe? Oh no, that's not good. Enough. That's not good. I'm running to the back of Joe Guan Yu and it's causing front wing damage again. Ah, it's a bit of orange, but I think it might be okay. I don't know. God dang it, I wish I slowed down more. Maybe it won't be that bad um, going around these corners. I mean, the thing is, I'm I'm on soft tires compared to all the other um, drivers that are on hards for some reason. So I get I guess it's still okay for me um, at the moment to try to get around Joe Guanyu and Kevin Magnussen for six, possibly. Dang it, shouldn't be running that curve there. Paris has got around Alonso. Oh, Jesus, slow down your car, man. You gotta slow, slow you down. You gotta slow down there. You're not gonna make the corner if you keep, keep that up. All battling um, behind me. Perez and Alonso battling for ninth. Well, that's good. I'm expecting the race to end up um, getting, getting to uh, wet conditions again soon. Because I did see the weather forecast saying that they'd be in, near the end of the race, it'll be wet conditions soon. So I gotta be aware, aware of what's gonna ha happen around. I'm gonna try to stay as long as I can until. I need a pit for new tires so I can fix that front wing. I may lose out pace to the others, but that's okay. I think where I am right now is is good um, at the moment. As Joe Guan Yu gets around Kevin Madison, I'm going to try and catch him off guard and try to pass him, but he's got DRS and going to try to pass Joe Guan Yu, maybe. Some good stuff going on. Alcon is still um, still in second. He's managed to stay ahead of Russell um, somehow. I can still hear 
um, barging uh, behind me. Those guys still going at it. Paris is right behind me, so is Alonso. I know some of my pit, pit window is open, but I'm gonna try and stay in this position as long as I can because I don't think the sauce will last long enough the next time around um, for, uh, until the end. I'm gonna wait until Paris and Alonso gets around me and then I pit for new, uh, for new tires and to change my front wing too. Well, Paris is making a move on me. Ne nearly went side on to me. And Alonso is about to pass him. Those guys could um, get back into battling again. Which that hasn't stopped yet. Oh, jeez. And I went off. That's gonna damage my bo That's gonna damage my floor. I guarantee you. I don't even remember how, how long can soft tires can go up to. About, about 13 laps, maybe? I don't know. A new oh, dang it, Paris, you just slowed down so much there. You know what, I'm gonna pit now. Because I don't have any other choice now. I'm gonna have to pit for hard tires. Jeez, Louise. Uh, I hate, hated that when they pass me, they somehow go very slow in the corners. And they just don't pick up pace midway. Whatever, we're gonna pit now. Alright, gonna do this right. Hopefully they can change the front wing quickly. I guess. <laughs> 7.5 seconds, I think that doesn't do good. Hey, right, back out of the way. I'm just outside the top top 10. With 14 laps to go, I don't know um, if I'll be able to catch up to gain some more points. Unless, it, unless the safety car comes out, it's the only chance I've got to try and um, make up some ground again. Or maybe uh, all the late rain that I men mentioned earlier. There's still... There could still be plenty of action um, coming up soon in the last remaining laps. You never know. We'll find out soon. You hear that, guys? Rain forecast is coming in 10 minutes, so it looks like I I think it's just going to appear right at the last lap. I think that's going to be the case, unfortunately. Might not be able to have a last minute um, action of um, dramatic um, ending or something. Late change of pits. So, I think that's all it's going to be for now. I mean, I mean, in 10 mi minutes, that mi means the rain could possibly happen in about five laps or so, I don't know, depends. As Latifi pits, oh, I'm back in the points, but only for one point, which is unfortunately not a good place to score points. Had the same place as I was in the first race. Might happen again. We'll see. Three laps to go here in Austria for the Austrian Grand Prix. I have pulled away from Latifi and I'm gaining some ground on Alonso and Madison but it's not going to be enough for me to catch up to them. As I noticed, Verstappen still leads, George Russell has moved up to second, that'll be good for us Mercedes, and Charles Leclerc is now past Norris for third in, um, for the final um, final podium, as Norris um, still um, has run in fourth, Ocon has dropped back to fifth. Uh, it looks like Joe Guanyu is 6th, Perez in 7th, Alonso 8th, Magnussen 9th, and I round out the top 10. I'm not going to be able to catch up to Magnussen in time for another spot. And and as you can see, um, the rain is just going 
just gonna miss out in the last couple of laps. So, not gonna happen. This will be the standings as it is, unless the mid pack changes a bit. But yeah, that's definitely where I'm gonna be, Verstappen's gonna be, Russell's gonna be, Madison's gonna be, and Alonso's gonna be. And possibly Leclerc and um, Norris, where they are now. Final lap here in Austria for the Austrian Grand Prix. That's uh, okay, the rain's not gonna come in time anyways. Fine, final lap, I'm running in 10th, the last spot on the point stand. He says, Verstappen comes around the final corner. He's gonna win in Austria for the Austrian Grand Prix. He does it for his Red, for Red Bull at, at their home track. He does it once again. And my teammate George Russell takes second. And I'll tell you what, despite where I'm at right now and where I'm gonna finish, I absolutely enjoyed this race because of how chaotic the race got and the sprint race as well. For a first time, for a first sprint race weekend, that was de definitely a great one to enjoy. It might not be the same as the um, as we have the next sprint races coming along, but this is definitely one to enjoy, despite where I'm going to be finishing. Definitely one to enjoy as Rain is just going to miss out on us for the last lap. As I come around the final corner to take the final point in, in the top 10, I come home 10th. Not how I wa wanted to go, but it is what it is. Same place as I finished in the first race in Abu Dhabi, same here in Austria. Charles Leclerc gets driver of the day. He definitely um, deserves it after starting from the back of the grid and moved his way all the way out to podium place. I um, just um, notice he's um, done it that well. So yeah, he's definitely earned himself driver of the day. Do, um, definitely don't, don't like seeing this happen winning all the time. Because that's getting way too old now. It's really ridiculous, honestly. I don't know what happened to Ock on there. He was he was getting some good pace until he dropped back and lo lost a lot of positions and missed out on his podium. So that's unlucky for him. Yeah, Red Bull's definitely um, definitely proving themselves a foe, especially Max Verstappen. If he somehow pulls up a dominant performance in the season, just like last year, I'm not going to be happy with the creators make, uh, making this game because. Because they can't, can't make them too realistic, otherwise it won't be fun um, to play in these situations. Anyways. Well, so there you have it. Who was your driver of the day out? Well, my driver of the day has I wish I wish I performed well in that full race because I would have scored some good points um, well, in the end. end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us and we'll see you for the next one. Hi. I guess I guess start doing be better because otherwise these drivers will do better than me. <laughs> so yeah, those are your results for combination Max Verstappen wins. Uh, with the fastest lap, he, he has max points, <laughs> no pun intended. George Russell second with those points, Esteban Ocon third, Lando Norris fourth, Charles Leclerc fifth, Fernando Alonso sixth, uh, Sergio Perez seventh, Guan Yu Zhou eighth, Lewis Hamilton, uh, myself, Lewis Hamilton ninth, and Kevin Magnussen rounds out the top ten. Those are your standings for, for the combined points. And as we look at the standings, I feel like there's going to be a change here with uh, Russell moving back up into the top five. Esmond Alcon moving up to fourth. That's a sh shaky change with Carlos Sainz in sixth, Alonso seventh, um, Norris eighth. As I drop back to ninth, which is not good, I need to need to make some good ground at some point as well. Um, a lot of drivers um, getting some first points for constructor standings. Uh, we're still we're still behind Alpine, not by much though, as uh, Haas has gained some good points um, for their team. They move up to seventh, 
and everything else I believe stays the same. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to help this channel grow. If you guys like these videos, make, the, make sure you hit that like button. If you guys have any other suggestions, make sure you leave a comment down below. Next episode, we're going to move on to the next race. Uh, I can't remember what, it, what next race it is. I think it's Bahrain, which by the, by the way, by the time this, is, um, this has been released... Oh, actually, I don't know when I'll release it. It might be around the same time as the first race of the season in the in the actual F1 will start. It's definitely this weekend. Um, definitely gonna be in, um, gonna be watching it to see um, what will happen in the first race. But we'll be heading to Bahrain soon as well. Um, sooner or later, it may be after the race, maybe before. Don't really know, but it doesn't really matter. That time will come sooner or later. But until then. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.